Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to overload the stream insertion and the stream extraction operators and make them to work with our customly built objects. So here, just for the demonstration purpose, let's create a class and let's call it as person. And uh, inside this class, let's have a a couple of private members let's say string name and let's say we're gonna have int age and then we're gonna have the public access specifier and we're gonna have a default constructor and it's gonna be person and it's not gonna take any parameters and it's gonna initialize our name to a value of no name and uh, it's gonna initialize our age to a value of zero all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna overload the stream insertion and stream extraction operators you know which are used with the c out and the c in respectively and we're gonna make them to work with our customly built objects so similar to the way we were using any variables here or you know any string or integer values you know let's say Unilistrity rocks, you know, similar to the way we are using this stream insertion operator with this string here. You know, we're gonna use this stream insertion operator with the object of this class person, and also we're gonna overload this stream extraction operator to work with this class person or the object of this class person and initialize them. All right. So first we're gonna overload the stream insertion operator, and we're gonna overload these operators as the friend functions because you know it would be called without creating an object all right first we're gonna use the keyword friend so it's gonna be friend because you know it's a friend function and then you know this stream insertion operator always returns an object of ostream class so it's gonna be ostream here and we're gonna pass the reference and also we're gonna use the keyword operator and then the stream insertion operator symbol and then a pair of parenthesis and between this parenthesis we need to pass the parameters so here as a parameter to this stream insertion operator we're gonna pass an o stream object and an object of this class person so if you were defining this function as a member of this class you know at that time you guys need to pass only one parameter you know an object of this class person here since it is a friend function we need to pass two parameters so the first parameter is going to be an object of that class o stream and we're gonna pass it through reference and let's say output and then we're gonna have another parameter after class person and let's say p and you know we are passing both these parameters by reference and next we're gonna define a friend operator function for the stream extraction operator so it's gonna be friend keyword again and stream extraction operator always returns an object of the iStream class so it's gonna be iStream and it returns by reference and then the keyword operator and then the symbol and then it's gonna take two parameters one is gonna be an object of the iStream class or the input stream class and let me call it as input and we're gonna pass that by reference and also we're gonna have another parameter which is of type person all right now we have defined two friend operator functions you know for this stream insertion and stream extraction operator for this class person the next thing that we need to do is we need to define these two operator functions so outside this class definition first i'm gonna define the operator function for this stream insertion operator so it's gonna be the return type first you know which is o stream and then and you know its reference and then the operator and then the symbol and then the parameter list so it's gonna be i can copy this from here and i'm gonna paste it here and then the operator function body so here what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert the stream to this output object and to do that i'm gonna use output and then the stream insertion operator here let's say what the heck and let's end this line and then in the next line we're just gonna insert some more so here we're gonna pass some string let's say 
my name is and then we're gonna insert our name property you know of this object p so it's gonna be p dot name and then again stream insertion operator and i'm gonna say and my age is and it's gonna be p dot age and let's end this line all right now okay it should be output all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna return this output object or the return the object of this word stream class so it's gonna be return output that's it now we have overloaded the stream insertion operator for our class person and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna write the operator function for the stream extraction operator so it's gonna be so what i can do is i can copy it from here you know i don't want to type it again and paste it here and the function body so here we're gonna take the input from this i stream object input and we're gonna store that in our uh, name and age members of this object p so it's gonna be from the input that's why it's gonna be input and then the stream extraction operator and then you know we assume that the first value entered will be a string value you know which will be stored in our name so it's gonna be p dot name and then the stream extraction operator and again it's gonna be p dot h that's it and then we're gonna return our input so it's gonna be return input all right now we have overloaded the stream insertion and stream extraction operators for this class person now we guys can use these operators just like the way we were using it with any other built-in types so here just for the demonstration purpose let's print out a message enter the name and age and let's end this line all right then we're gonna create an object of this class person so it's gonna be person and let's say anil so it's gonna be c in and uh, it's gonna be anil that's it now because of this overloaded operator function for this stream extraction operator you know we can use it with an object of this class person all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna print out the values and it's gonna be anil all right now i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this program and uh, you know enter the name and age let's say anil and uh, separate it by a new line or a tab or a space and uh, i'm just gonna enter 24 hit enter what the heck my name is anil and my age is 24 all right now we have overloaded the stream insertion and stream extraction operator to work with a customly built or the user defined class so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and stay updated with the latest videos that we're gonna make and i'll see you in the next tutorial